we have now uh, averted uh, what could have been a, a disastrous blow to the economy. Uh, and we have identified uh, on the front end over a trillion dollars uh, in spending reductions that can be done sensibly and safely uh, without affecting core programs. Uh, and we now have a, a committee process uh, in Congress that is charged to find additional savings. Uh, it's going to be challenging work, and uh, I'm encouraging uh, Congress to, to take it with the most, uh, utmost seriousness. Uh, the FAA uh, routinely uh, gets uh, author its authorities extended through Congress. It's happened 20 times since 2007. Uh, this time, Congress has decided to play some politics with it, and as a consequence, they uh, left town without getting this extension done. Here's what this means. Thousands of FAA workers being furloughed, including safety inspectors. Uh, it also means uh, projects all across the country involving tens of thousands of construction workers being suspended because Congress didn't get its work done. It turns out that uh, this extension gives the authority to collect fees from airlines. Uh, the airlines are still collecting these fees because it's, uh, it's priced into their tickets, but they're not turning them over to the federal government, and the federal government is, uh, uh, stands to lose $200 million a week. That would be a billion dollars at a time when we're worrying about how we pay for uh, everything from education to Head Start, and we don't anticipate it's going to be easy to get that money back. Even though the airlines are collecting it, they're keeping it. So. Uh, this is a lose-lose-lose situation that can be easily solved if Congress gets back into town and does its job.